Sorry to start here. Um, I'm actually going to be going over two events that happened in New York because there's some things as a individual who has a degree in criminal justice noticed that needs to be pointed out and I think the DA in New York is probably handling well, I think the DA is handling these charges wrong in my, because it seems like one set one group of individuals is being favored over another individual I'm going to start with the uh, stabbing okay um the uh, individual and I know everyone's seen this but the individuals out on bail that has been charged with manslaughter for but the whole incident started out with uh, the the uh, the aggressor in this situation, the one individual. Oh, actually, okay. This individual, right? Oh, go on. The but the individual that's right in the white. Their his girlfriend, wife, a. Yeah, uh, it says girlfriend here came to the store to buy a treat for their daughter. Okay, the girlfriend's card ended up declined, and I know how it feels to. Have your card declined. Um, it's not not it's, it's upsetting, um, but from the your friend's own statement is the, the individual grabbed the bag of chips from the child and because of the, the issue, and they all went home. Well, they ran home, and she told the individual in the white. Okay? And ten minutes later, shows up. And shows up. This indiv and the individual shows up. Um, so, as you can see here, he's behind the counter. And... You know, we all know we shouldn't be, but if we're not working there, we don't. We should not be behind the counter. But I, right here, you'll see him push, which that right there, then and there, is assault. Okay. Then it's just the guys down on the chair. Okay, so it's assault. There's the first. Th offense assault okay now it seems like right here this might be the girlfriend trying to keep him from back from doing anything and technically they both have a history okay with police and crime but this individual actually has more criminal charges than the clerk. So, and I think if I remember, let's see, it was uh, I believe he actually had was released on bail or something for yeah he was on parole for assaulting a cop so he has a history of violence that's we're granted but I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit to a point if I can find it takes a little bit okay it was right roughly 
Alright, let's get right there. See, the guy doesn't even get past him. And if we back it up just a little bit more. Okay. Now. As he, see, as he even gets up, he has a hold of him. That is actually false imprisonment. I've done the research and with my degree, I can guarantee you that that is false imprisonment. And with the act of shoving, well, with the assault, this, this clerk had every right to fear for his life. Because he didn't know what was going to be happening. I mean, you could say, you could go context, context, context. Well, what was saying here? But actions speak louder than words, okay? The guy had him. He had him pretty much all by the scruff of the shirt and scruff of the neck and possibly even choking him at this point because look how tight, how much shirt he's got right here. And the guy decided to defend himself. And luckily, recently, they tried to start with a uh, GoFundMe. I'm not going to go into the stabbing. Because YouTube hates that. But. It's. Been. That's a lot of things are going on. But he it is clear cut self defense. He, he got feared for his life. He was being. He was possibly being choked. He was being falsely imp imprisoned. So he had the right to defend himself. And I, and I started saying um, about the the go. They started to go for me when this bail was at two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Go for me. Deleted it. But like they got his lawyer. Got it set to where the bell was dropped to fifty thousand, and that he'd have to be monitored and could not leave the state once the bell was achieved. But she's out now, and he agreed to it. But even just the actions in the video I pointed out, the DA can't. The DA or is going to have a losing battle here. Especially with the fact that most people see it as self-defense. Now, going on to the uh, three individuals, three women, who destroyed a the uh, restaurant in New York. Which, also, during that destruction, they injured two of the employees. They are only charged with rock. They only received charges of robbery and criminal mischief, even though there was injuries. And all the research I've done with, about their criminal mischief does not say, does not include any injuries. And this is coming from New York lawyers. So these three individuals should have an assault charge also placed on them. And I wouldn't be surprised if the employees sue them and the restaurant sues them because the employees are afraid to work there because of the way they were, because of this incident. And it would be interesting if they were, either one of those two were, the company or the employees were to sue the city, state, over the not charging them with assault, because it's, <coughs> sorry, I've been dealing with COVID lately, but there, it was clear-cut assault, yes, I have, I had, I have COVID right now, but is not enough to really take me down and out. 
but these individuals, so, something needs to be done to where those who are defending themselves aren't getting a, getting reamed by district attorneys that will turn a blind eye to actual assault. And back here, um, yeah, I did end up getting a little more information on the incident with the three women. Um, there's a chance that they are being charged with assault, but none of the sources I can find have assault listed as one of their charges. Um, but there is a, at least a charge of assault on an officer, and one of them only received a $5,000 bond. Interesting. Figured I'd at least give you that information.